Hi folks, I'm here at the bathtub again from a different perspective today. I uh, want to show my uh, own spoon construction that I've named the Creature Spoon. Um, as you can see, I've made different sized models. This smaller one is uh, 50 millimeters. This dark one, 55 millimeters. 62 millimeters. Uh, this one should be around 75 millimeters and 95 millimeters. The large uh, yellow one with dark blue spots. Um, one or two sizes are missing. I guess that I've made uh, one of the still larger than this. And uh, there's one in between size this two as well, but I just couldn't find them anymore. I've made these lures. Uh, already about one and a half years ago um, and which one has turned out to be a proven catcher for perch is at this 62 millimeter size. I haven't yet caught on the bigger sizes. Uh, I guess this is because fishing on for pike was very slow during the past years and uh, I've only tried them in autumn, fall and probably the action is too lively to uh, attract pike because uh, in my opinion in colder water they re it requires, requires lures that uh, are not running that much lively. Okay, I am now uh, going to give them a swim to display the action to you. Um, made this uh, smallest sizes. I've never fished them myself. I've made them on request of a mate in uh, Australia. He want to uh, try them on trout. Um, what I know is that someone in the USA that I swept the lures with had already caught his personal best trout on one of this uh, 62 millimeter size. So anyway, I'm going to give them a swim now. So let me change the focus of the camera. Alright. Probably I wouldn't uh, show all. Just a moment, have to attach this thing. Okay. Here we go. As you can see, it has a wide wiggle, the uh, flattened head portion uh, pushes it upward but it doesn't come to the surface. And on the drop it twists around its own lengthwise axis. As I said before with this bigger size I haven't yet caught. So let me tie on the proven 62 millimeter size. Basically, they are performing about the same, same way, sw same swimming pattern. What I do to fish them is, I would not use a steady retrieve, but I let them drop down or rip the rod forward, so uh, they will dart to the uh, side unpredictably. So anyway, this one I'm very confident in this one, uh, in this 62 millimeter size. I would always tie them on in waters that hold nice perch. I've already caught two or three ones over 40 centimeters, which is uh, supposed to be a trophy size. Okay, I'll now display the uh, 55 millimeter size. See, they have a nice action. And looks like uh, this season was going to be better for pike, so probably I could still score with the larger versions. I won't give up upon them. Okay, now let me tie on the big one. For you to see how that one swims, there's not much difference anyway.
but as I said before, probably the action is too lively for autumn fishing. That's why I haven't caught on them last season. All right. This was it for today. My creature spoon display and bathtub. Thanks for watching, folks. Goodbye.